Hello friends, welcome to Art by Sparkle. Well, I'm finishing up something that I started a little while ago, but I wanted to share this because I know that there might be some of you out there who have some canvases you aren't all that crazy about, or um, maybe they didn't sell, or maybe you just wanna do something special with them. So I would like to share with you this process that I'm doing um, to make a an appetizer tray, okay? So first thing, we have this panel board, okay? It's actually got two sides, but it's got these nice high lips. And it's a 10 by 20. I'm pretty sure, but I'm going to double check that. Um, but it is a perfect substrate for doing something unique and still showing off your art. So what I did, let me find my frame here. I had this piece, actually, I'll do it this way. I had this piece on, this is canvas. So I had it on a frame, like all canvases come stapled to a frame, all right? And I just took it off. I took it off the frame. And then I trimmed it up measuring this substrate of where I wanted to place this piece of canvas. Now, <clears throat> I haven't cut all of it because I wanted to show you what I'm doing. If I cut right here, then this piece is going to go perfectly in there and I'm gonna show you that. So let's come down. Oops, my camera is tilting <laughs> a little too much there. Okay, so it's going to go in this substrate, in this tray. I'll call it a tray. It's a, it's a nice heavy uh, board with the frame around it. And I fit it in up to the other side, which I am now going to cut so it will lay in there nice and evenly. I have done a fold after I put it down, okay, and I, what I did, I, I <clears throat> put it right up to the edge on the top, and then I brought it down and folded it to where it is going to be even on the other side, okay? So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna cut this and just pray <laughs> that I cut it right or well. I could probably use a board and an X-Acto knife, but I think I'm gonna cut it this time. I'm gonna cut it right on the fold. And hope that I have done this correctly. And yes, you could use a, a board under it, use an X-Acto blade, or if you have a really heavy duty paper cutter, that would actually be perfect. Unfortunately, I don't. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I want one. I've seen one that I want. Okay, getting it right up to the very, very, very edge. And you're gonna play around with that canvas piece and decide <clears throat> where you wanna cut and where you wanna place it, okay? So that is our piece. Now, <clears throat> Before I glue this down, 
I'm going to measure. It should be about three and a half inches on each side. Okay, this has to slide down a little bit. I eyeball it and then I measure it. Okay, not quite. This has to come down just a little bit. So that's three and a half. And that is just slightly over three and a half. Okay. Let's just double check here and move it just slightly that way. <coughs> pretty good. Well, yep, three and a half, so that is good. <clears throat> and so I don't make a mistake and tape it down where it's, I want to make sure I tape it down exactly where I want it. I'm going to take a pencil right up against that piece of canvas and I'm just going to draw my line there. And draw my line there. All right, so I have it all figured out where this is going to go. But first, because it is Because it's only covering part of the tray, I'm going to use some of this stick-on vinyl to put on either side. Let's get this off of here. This is um, Circuit Premium Vinyl. And this is in the, they call it the, the copper, okay? So that's what I decided to pick up on as a highlight. Now, a little piece of tape here somewhere. Let's see. Kind of get rid of that. There we go. All right. Now, I love having these grid lines on this piece. And we can do it one of two ways. And I think I'm going to probably do it this way so that I can get it right up tight to where I want it. Okay, it's definitely a curly Shirley here. But I wanna see Putting an indentation. Okay. Because we're not going to cover the whole tray. We're just going to cover the ends and go in about, I would say, two squares. Okay? So I know this is hard to see and I apologize. But what I have done, I brought this down. Okay, I brought this down to where I want it. And I want to go in to about there, okay? So that's where I'm going to mark it. And then I have to mark it up here so that it goes right, definitely against. Where's my little, hey pencil, where did you go? No. All right, oh, there it is. <laughs> okay, so what I'm gonna do, I brought this right up to the very end and I'm gonna mark it. It's just below one of the lines, okay? And I know you probably can't see that, but I marked it right there when I push this up against to get to the end. But we will double check that to make sure that that's going to work. 
so curly for surely good grief okay Let's see if I can I don't want to roll it the other way because I don't want to wrinkle it so we're gonna just sort of go with it here and we're gonna go on this line right here so glad they have the grids on here man it's hard enough for me to cut a straight line anyway no you're having you're gonna have trouble seeing that okay i'm gonna just go ahead and cut right where that indent is give us a little more play for this one come on you can do it oh goodness this is new for me working with this this is interesting okay we've got our piece excellent Let's see what we can do with this here. And it's gonna go right under, it will be taped. Ooh, it'll be taped right under this. So, cause I went about an inch under. Ooh, I think that's gonna be pretty, 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 pretty. So to make things easy, let's go ahead and measure out another one. hard. Now I know I I might have probably could have um, measured it differently as to where I cut it on here but I think I think this is gonna work out fine. Again I've lost my pencil. Oh goodness. Sorry about that. It's such a little thing. I <laughs> found it. Okay. So we're going to put this right up to where we had it on the other piece. All right. Come here, you little wonker. Okay. We got this one at the end. I know there's a better way to do this, guys. <laughs> I just, you know, it is so funny. Okay, gotta get that. The struggle is real. <laughs> I haven't done a lot of mixed media, and that's why <laughs> it's so different for me. All right, let's see what we got here. Which way is this going? Okay, I'm going to come up on this one. I think if I were to do these things a lot, which I really love doing them, I may just go ahead and cut some end pieces and get them to flatten out because this is really a riot. Oh, yummy. Look at this. <laughs> All right, let's get this cut out here. It's getting there, guys. It's getting there. And then I'm going to cut this out right here. Okay, I think I've got it. Let's hope. Let's hope. Okay. Oop, that one's good. I think, oh, a little short. No. Oh, 
father. It doesn't go down all the way. Oh, I'm not happy. All right. Let's do it a different way. I'm sure I'll use that again. All right. Hey, you know what? It's all about trial and error, and I'm glad I'm trying it before you error. How's that? Okay. Oops. Let's turn this baby over. Okay. That's four and three quarters, let's say four and a half. Four and a half by just above eight and a quarter. Mm, you know what? I think, I think I can do this, and I'll just put some of the um, I'll just put some of the copper lining because this will get resined over. So I think I might go ahead and leave this one, and let's just give it a shot. You know what? It'll be all about. What you can do if you get just shy and you're showing some white, all right? So let's just go ahead and do that. Now we're going to take this backing off. Come on. I know you can come off. because You're supposed to be able to. Please. There it is. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start right up here. Don't get it down too quick. My hands are a little shaky and that's part of the issue I'm having. That looks good, with the exception of this little bit right here, which I'm going to fill in with a metallic marker. I would like to have had it perfect, but today life is not perfect, so we're good. So I pasted down my canvas and I've got my um, sides done. So you can see how pretty this looks. The next thing I need to do is I need to, I'm going to put some stain on the wood. Um, <clears throat> I want to put it on the wood before the resining because then that will seal it in really nicely. So I'm going to put some stain on here and we'll be right back. So I just um, covered the wood and I didn't want it real dark or anything, so I used the Old English scratch cover, and it's pretty dark, actually. Uh, I don't know what, oh, for dark woods, okay. And I figured since this is light woods, I could get away with putting it on there, and I really, really like the way it looks. On that wood I did the sides and the back just a little bit on the back 
okay? And then the next thing that's going to happen is it's going to get resined. And I will do that off camera and then show you the results. So this is the second one that I want to do. Um, this is the art piece. I have folded it so I know where to cut it. And then we're going to use the gold on either side. Now it's um, more narrow on this side, on these sides, because this was a bigger canvas. So on each side, it is, let's turn this over. It is, oops, one, looks like not quite one and a half. And that's good, we're even. Excellent. So I have drawn lines on each side with a pencil to make sure that I put the right amount of this on each side. So now I'm going to cut this, the, the leftover. Okay, so I have put down the gold on each side, just to round that out there. And I've got the canvas piece glued down. And now I am going to on the wood because this has to be done before I resin. So I'm using this Old English again. And I'm just going to rub it on the top just to give this just a little different coloring. Filling in the wood a little bit, giving it some interest. And I'm doing all this again before I resin this piece. And the frame will also be resined. Now, the tricky part is getting down into the sides. just to make them a little bit So I decided, since I had the strip that I had cut off of the canvas to use for the tray, it's not this one, this is for the other tray, but I'm going to make some coasters. So what I did, I have painted the coasters black with Artist Loss flow acrylic and then I measured the strips out like this so they're all the same size and I'm going to place them diagonally some of them have more design than others obviously 
some sugar. I might have trimmed that little edge. But I thought they'd be kind of cool diagonally. These are touchable dry. I just want to make sure that <clears throat> they're okay because these were not... <clears throat> They were not um, glossy tiles. They were just regular tiles that, um, you know, that were bisque and not coated, not shiny or anything like that. So this uh, paint will seep in a little bit. I just want to make sure that I don't need to put another coat on. So once, once those are, I'm going to give it another hour, but it shouldn't be an issue. I probably don't even have to wait that long. And then I'm going to use the extra heavy gel gloss. This makes a great glue. And I'm going to glue these down. And then they will be resin. So this set is going to go with our other our um, tray because that the tray is going to be resined also so when that is all done I will show you the results of how it looks um, probably before I put the resin on it so that's it I'm going to do the same thing with this piece and I'm not sure, I may just, because I used gold on the sides on the tray, I may go ahead and paint these other ones gold. And then I will do the same thing that I did here. Now, I probably would have enough to do like um, most of the square, but I'm gonna see how much I have. Um, if I have enough, maybe I will just go ahead and instead of going this way, maybe I'll go this way. I'm not sure yet, but I'm gonna get started on that and attach it to this video. So, be back in a few. So here is a look at the coasters. They are all done except for the resining. And on the gold background, I used the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic Gold. And then on top of that, I used the Prism Pour Old Gold. So let me take you down for a close up here. I think that gold looks really, really pretty. And I sponged it on with a dauber that last, um, the prism pour, because I wanted it to have a bit of a texture. All right, let's go up to the black ones. Now these are definitely different because the strip that I had cut off wasn't as um, varied, okay? But it's, it's enough, and I think putting it at an angle made it look kind of cool. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the coasters with the tray. My lighting isn't the best, but you can see the coasters with that tray now. I think it makes an awesome set. And this is the other tray with the black, gold, copper, rose gold. And I think that the coasters are interesting. So once I get the resin on them, so there you have it, two trays 
that could be used for appetizers or anything. It will be food safe because it will be they will be resined, as will the coasters. So it was just using those panel boards with the uh, frame around it, taking a canvas that I wasn't sure I liked. I liked it, but you know maybe it didn't sell or whatever. And then I just um, cut that out, took it off the frame, cut it out, put it in the center of the tray. And then what's left on the sides, you can use contact paper or just paint. Um, I use the foil um, <clears throat> Cricut paper and I, I think it came out really nicely. Um, and then <clears throat> you can decide if you want to or want to maybe paint the whole base of that panel and just use whatever color is on the sides of what you cut out for your canvas. And obviously you could cut out a canvas that would cover that whole tray if you wanted to. So then the coaster is easy enough. Um, any bit that you cut off from the... Um, <clears throat> canvas, original canvas, you could use those to make coasters like I did, or whatever, jewelry even. Okay, I just wanted to uh, say thank you so much for joining me. Uh, thank you for watching my video, and thank you subscribers, those of you who have subscribed. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so and like and make a comment because that will help me a lot. <clears throat> By the way, I, I will take commissions for these trays or any paintings. Just um, contact me through my email, ljfinzer at gmail.com. And that would just be great. Okay, I hope you have a wonderful weekend. And... Whoever you're cheering for, for the Super Bowl, um, that that one wins. Hmm, that could get complicated, I guess. But anyway, you know what I'm trying to say. Okay, thanks so much. I really appreciate you being here. And remember, keep your sparkle on and give it to someone you love. Oh, happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Love you all. Bye-bye.